To another studio vlog. I hope you had a wonderful week. Um, I had a good week uh, full of work. I'm almost, I have one week left of my current day job before I have a little bit of time off and then starting a new nanny gig because the family I currently work for is moving unfortunately but um, I did find another family that I get to nanny for which is great. Some other fun things that happened this week, two fun things that I'll mention real quick. Met one of my social media friends I should say, we haven't met in real life, um, her name's Lindsay. She was featured in this beautiful magazine called In Her Studio um, and she was so kind enough to mention my YouTube channel in her feature article. Um, she listed me as one of her favorite artsy YouTube channels and I was just so honored. I've never been mentioned in a magazine before so even though it's small I am so giddy and thankful for her and thought that it was so cool. And this magazine is just beautiful regardless if you like um, artsy, aesthetically pleasing, inspiring magazines. You should pick this one up. Um, I found this one at Barnes & Noble. I'm not sure where else they are sold, but um, you can get one there. And then um, I went to a friend's house this week for like an art night um, with a couple of friends and we made collage journals. So this one's mine. Um, I had a lot of fun with them and um, very happy with how my journal turned out. I'm using it as my to-do list maker. <laughs> so, uh, the plan for today is um, working on editing a video that I'll need to post while I'm away on vacation in a couple of weeks. Um, it's that paint with me video I filmed um, a couple weeks ago. And then my husband and I are going out to see a movie and out to lunch with my brother and sister-in-law which will be fun this afternoon and then I'm hoping to paint a thank you design for my Kickstarter backers I'm gonna make a little extra special postcard um, to put in every single package um, when the time comes so I need to design that so that I can upload that to the printer to get printed and we'll see what else happens but that is the plan for today um i am so excited you are here and joining me um and let's get started with some computer work
good morning and welcome to Sunday. Um, currently having a little bit of breakfast, apples and peanut butter. And in the next hour, uh, Jake and I are actually gonna go have a little work from coffee shop kind of work afternoon um, today in downtown Portland. So we're gonna go find a little coffee shop, um, work for a couple hours, maybe read for a little bit, and then um, we may stop by the downtown Powell's, which we have not been to in a really long time, um, depending on how busy it is, but um, that is what we're going to be up to for the next couple hours. And of course, I will take you along with me.
welcome to the floor of my studio. <laughs> um, it's actually a couple of days later. I wanted to film a haul though from the weekend and I just haven't managed uh, to be able to do it yet. So I thought I would film it real quick before I head off to work. Um, we, of course, as you saw, went to Powell's, but I also went to a garage sale and found a couple of things. And we also went to a flea market with my brother and sister-in-law. It was a very small one, but we just popped in and I found a couple of things there too. So, um, first from the garage sale and the flea market. Um, from the garage sale, I found this handmade, um, I think it's called an afghan, but I would just call it a throw. Um, very beautiful. It was only three dollars, which is awesome. Um, and then, ooh, also at that garage sale, a huge, like a nice sized picnic basket. I don't actually have a picnic basket to be able to hold all the things that you would take on a picnic, but this was absolutely perfect and only two dollars. That's what's so great about garage sales. And then um, there's this really cute metal deer that I thought would be nice Christmas decor, 50 cents. And then at the flea market, um, found a couple of books, two old children's books, Bambi's Children and The Tale of Benjamin Bunny by Beatrix Potter. And then Jake found um, this book, Bits That Grow Big, Experiments on How Plants Grow and Where They Come From. Uh, so this was just a cool, unique little book. And then finally I found this, I guess you would call it a wall pocket. Um, you can put something inside and hang it on the wall. So I thought this would be super cool uh, to put like dried flowers in. Um, and made out of wood, really pretty carved detailing. Um, super cool and unique find. And then as you saw, we kind of bought quite a few books from Powell's. <laughs> we um, haven't been to that downtown one, which is just the huge one, it's as big as a city block, they say, um, in a really long time. So we were bound to find some good ones. So I'll go through these quickly. Uh, Jake found this copy of Robin Hood, which was kind of a fun, unique little copy. And then I found this old vintage book called Stories of Birds, and it has beautiful illustrations inside, and each chapter is just a different story of a different species of bird. I just love stuff like this and cannot wait to read some of them. And then of course, I always have to get some children's books um, whenever I go to Palace. They always have some really cool vintage unique ones. Um, first up is this one called Beaver Valley. It's part of Walt Disney's old True Life Adventures. Um, I've never seen these before. but. As I've said before, we have a little beaver pond at our cabin, so I always feel a little connection to beavers. <laughs> so I really loved the illustrations, so that was very cute. And then I've slowly started collecting um, stories from this collection. This one's called Little Grey Rabbit's Party by Allison Utley. And then all the illustrations are by Margaret Tempest. I have already collected three of these so far, so I found another one, which I'm very excited about. And I actually found a whole collection. This is the Little Grey Rabbit Treasury. So all of the stories of the Little Grey Rabbit specifically and all the illustrations as well. Um, but she has all stories of all sorts of different animals, kind of like Beatrix Potter. It's very similar. I found that too, which I'm very excited about. Um, and then two more children's books. This one is called Badger's Parting Gifts. I haven't read it yet. I read little snippets of it, but I always fall in love with the illustrations and then have to get it. Um, but this looks like a very cute story. And then I found this one as well, which is super unique. I love this one called The Forest. And it has a little mouse who journeys through the forest. Again, I haven't read the story yet, but the illustrations are quite wonderful. And then um, we found this copy of Flower Fairies of the Countryside. We have one, um, oh, the complete book of Flower Fairies. We already have that, but um, this one was a very beautiful edition. 
of the fairies from specifically the countryside and all of their illustrations and poems. Um, these are by Cicely Mary Barker. She um, is pretty famous for these flower fairy books. Um, they are absolutely gorgeous and this was a really cool old find. And then finally in the nature section um, I found this book called uh, The Fox Family, Four Seasons of Animal Life. Foxes are one of my favorite animals if you did not know. Um, and I don't really have any nature books specifically about foxes and fox life. So this was a cool one and um, especially that they go through each of the seasons with um, a fox family and beautiful photos and um, you know what I'm just realizing now? This is all photos. <laughs> I thought there would have been some like informational writing. Oh there is a little bit at the beginning in the introduction but it's actually a whole story of this family throughout the seasons in photo photographs. That's actually really cool. It would be an awesome uh, coffee table book. I'm going to take a peek at the... Oh. See it's nice when you take off the cover and it's a good actual hardback cover. It's like that one of those linen -y, um covers with gold foil writing. Very pretty olive green cover. So, regardless, this was a cool find. Um, and that is all of our books we got at Powell's. Quite the stack, but very happy with all of our choices. I could have come home with a lot more, so it's a good thing we only came went home with what we had. Um, but that is it for my little mini haul at the end of this vlog. Um, I just want to say thank you again so much for joining me and for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, the day this video goes up, actually, we will be off to Montana. We are going on a little vacation after uh, my job ending on Thursday and before I start my next job and before Jake starts school at the end of August. So, um, the following week will be that paint with me video um, about the Rebecca Green and Holbein gouache set which I already have pre-scheduled because we will still be away and then the following week I'm sure will be a um, travel vlog of our adventures and road tripping um, ventures to Montana and then to Washington to visit my parents so um, again thank you so much for being here and for watching I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week, my friends. Bye.